everybody. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. I'm John Tesh. And I'm Mary Hart. Thousands of Americans are expected to come out of the closet today, revealing publicly for the first time that they are gay or lesbian. This is the fourth annual coming out day, and two Hollywood stars lead the way. I was already in a lesbian relationship when I was doing Dobie Gillis, and I couldn't tell anyone. I mean, it was, I knew my career would be over. It's clear. Sheila Kuehl and Dick Sargent are best known for their sitcoms of years past. Sheila played the brainy Zelda Gilroy on the many loves of Dobie Gillis. But what was I missing, Poopsie? This face, these lips, this figure. No offense, Zelda, but what figure? Well, it's in here someplace, and it's yours all yours. <laughs> Sargent played Elizabeth Montgomery's husband on the last three seasons of Bewitched. Marital unrest. Why'd you buy a book about that? In an exclusive interview with Entertainment Tonight, Sargent and Kuehl are announcing that they are, in fact, gay. This coincides with National Coming Out Day, an annual event in which gays declare publicly their homosexuality. I've been looking forward to this and dreading it at the same time all day. It's a relief. You know, we've been second-class or third-class citizens for all my life. I've been hiding somewhere and lying, and, and uh, it's just dumb. There's a better way to live, and I'm, I'm doing it now. Sheila says hiding her sexuality was terrifying. I wish now that I'd been able to come out. I was scared to death. I was kicked out of my sorority at UCLA because I was uh, gay. And that was when I was doing Dobie. And I sweated bullets for years. Sheila retired from acting years ago. She's now a successful attorney and a law professor. She hopes that by coming out, she can help enlighten people about gays. I hope that the United States, the people who watch this show, will understand that, you know, it sounds defensive, but gay and lesbian people are wonderful people. I'm one, and I'm doing great. Dick is oh, now a yeah, businessman, but still acts that. occasionally, seen here on Murder, She Wrote. He hopes his announcement will encourage woman. others to follow Actually, suit. George, I'm want. very happy being gay, and I hope that maybe my appearance will make some people who were possibly in the closet think a little better about being gay. I hope so. Leaders of the National Coming Out campaign estimate there are more than 30 million gay and lesbian Americans. That's roughly 10% of the population. Actress Debbie Reynolds finds herself in the midst of controversy today over remarks she made at a women's conference suggesting Hispanic women seek domestic work to get ahead in life. I believe there's a lot of work in uh, domestic work that enables you to make a good salary. There's a lot of homes that are owned by wealthy people, you know, that uh, do employ people. And it's that was Debbie Reynolds' advice to Hispanic women trying to better themselves. The comments were made to reporter Norma Roki, who was covering a local women's conference. And, and at that moment, you're, I was thinking, what is she saying? She's implying, she's saying that Hispanic women are only good for domestic work. I was very disturbed. While Roki was offended, she decided to let Reynolds continue talking, and talk she did, about the difficulties facing Hispanic women. It is hard, yes, uh, when as a family of 14, 16 children, where the mother just doesn't have the means, nor the father. Ms. Reynolds is currently in Salt Lake City working on a TV movie, but Hispanic group leaders say this type of stereotyping cannot go unchallenged. It negates those kinds of efforts that we as a community have been trying for years to achieve, and that is to uh, have our young people uh, look forward to higher education, to bettering themselves and contributing to the community. The Fresno Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has fired up a letter to Ms. Reynolds condemning her statements. It's an issue of education for Ms. Reynolds and for people who have that kind of a mindset. A spokeswoman for Debbie Reynolds told Entertainment Tonight the actress is not available for comment about this controversy. On our Inside Story Monday, singer Patti LaBelle, is she a vegetarian? And if so, what about those McDonald's commercials? I love my fans as much as I love a burger. And you know I love hamburgers. What's on the menu for Patti LaBelle, veggies or patties? The Inside Story served piping hot Monday on Entertainment Tonight. Coming up next, Roseanne Arnold challenges attorney Melvin Belli to put up or shut up. And later, why is Michelle Pfeiffer so reclusive? We'll find out from the people closest to her.